Today, I am going to be doing some Calathea care, some urgent care on my Dottie. So I thought I would bring you along with me. We've got some dusty leaves here, and we have a Dottie that has three of these green buds now that are shooting up, and they're causing a little bit of an issue. We'll talk about that. We also have a plant that's outgrowing its pot. Got to think about that. So we've got some outer leaves that have been dying off, and I also did something else to this plant. Um, I would say, <laughs> I don't know how long ago now, I dropped a lamp onto my dotty and I broke two of the stems, right? So we're gonna try to repair those today. So we're gonna clean the plant up. We're gonna take care of the old dead flowers that are hanging around. We're gonna assess what's happening with the outer leaves. Just overall, right? take care of this plant. Look at the dust on these leaves. This is accumulated all winter and early spring and it is time to clean this plant up. The Calathea Dotty was my number one wish plant along with Calathea Rosy for a very long time. They were really rare in the United States and now I feel like you can just like throw a rock and hit a Calathea Dotty on any plant site. But it took me a very long time to get this Dotty. So kind of is a huge source of happiness for me when it comes to my plant collection and my Calathea collection. I got this plant and it was pretty small, but it has grown so tremendously since I've gotten it. It has had incredible amounts of new growth that started actually while it was still winter. And I can't, I can't tell you how careful I want to be with the plant. So the first thing I'm doing, right, I'm cleaning up the leaves so that sunlight is able to really penetrate the leaf so that the plant can get enough light for photosynthesis. It is here in an eastern window. So I do keep my dotty in a place where in the morning it gets direct sun and then it gets less intense sun for the rest of the day because there is there are some sources outside that reflect light back. I've mentioned that a few times around my house. So the dotty does get some light reflected back in the afternoon, so it gets pretty, it gets some moderate direct light, and then it gets, I would say, because it is through a window screen as well as through open blinds, and these things do kind of buffer it from direct light, but it, it's still getting some rays of the sun on it. And I would say that for a dotty, and because of the, the type of leaves that it has, it, it's able to withstand it pretty well and I actually, considering how much it's grown, and I mean tremendous amounts of growth, it must really like it. And especially because it's flowering as strongly as it is, I would say it's, it's pretty happy where it is. It's in very fast draining soil with a really high amount of perlite amended into the potting mix. and. I'm trying to think about what else. I'm spraying it with distilled water. I don't use anything but distilled water, both when watering and also when cleaning my calatheas. Um, I would never take a calathea into the shower or the sink. Personally, I think that they're a little bit delicate. My philodendron definitely could handle it better. I would, I would be afraid that a direct shower spray would actually harm the leaves on my plant or the stems. And I don't think I would want that much water actually getting into the pot with my calathea. Um, however, you know, I, I do things with my philodendron and other plants that, that can handle it all the time. It's just with my calathea, I'm a lot more careful. And also, of course, why wouldn't I do it is I would never expose my calathea to the tap water here. The tap water I've got is just filled with all kinds of things that will absolutely burn my calathea's roots to a crisp. So I'm definitely very careful with this plant and all of my calatheas for that matter. Now, calatheas have creeping rhizomes. So sometimes the rhizome grows under the soil and new growth pops up away from the plant and forms a new plant. Now here you can see the outer leaves of this plant, while I've got new growth on a creeping rhizome next to it, the outer leaves are drooping. And I think that these flowers are part of the reason why. So. The plant right now is obviously directing a tremendous amount of energy into producing buds and flowers. And each of these buds can actually, over its life course, produce 30 to 40 individual flowers that you're seeing me pull out. Now they're relatively small, 
I think that they look like beautiful little irises. I think they're gorgeous. They are very small and they last for about 12 to 24 hours max. And that 30 to 40 flowers per bud over the life course is just an average. And I would say that this one has produced more than that. So I think the plant's directing a lot of energy to the flowers and maybe the outer growth is suffering for it. So that's something to think about. If it's really going to bother me or it continues, I might actually remove those buds. Now I'm taking floral, fl I can't talk today. I'm sorry, floral tape. And I am taping up my broken leaf, right? I dropped a plant, you know, I dropped a lamp on my plant and broke, just snapped two of its stems. And so they were connected enough to still like pass nutrients to the leaf. And I know that in agriculture, people do tend to splint plants or to tape them up when something happens, when they break, especially, you know, if you've got something that's uh, fruit producing that yields um, an edible, people have a tendency to want to preserve what they can. And I thought, well, I'm going to give that a shot. I'm going to try taping these up. I don't know if the plant will be able to articulate the leaves after I do this, meaning I don't know if they'll be able to kind of pray at night and raise, raise these to the sky like they used to be able to, but let's see. I can let you know and follow up on whether or not it works. Either way, it feels good to repair these leaves that I damage these stems that are the result of something that I did. Um, so that was really nice. And it's actually not too noticeable from a distance. So again, really pleased to have that repaired. And I waited to clean the leaves until after I had repaired the stems. I was concerned I might sever the leaf entirely if I didn't. So as you can see, there's not a lot of room left in this pot. So that could be another reason for the outer leaves dying off. Um, this calathea really needs to be potted up and I've got some great pots that are coming from Ikea next week. Some beautiful white pots that will really highlight the you know, very dark green leaves and the beautiful pink markings, as well as the flowers. I think it'll be a beautiful contrast. So I'm looking forward to that. But I'm again, just checking over some of these leaves. I'm seeing how firmly they're still attached to the roots or if they're ready to pull out. And they were still pretty attached, but I feel good now having all of the dust off. My leaves will be able to actually catch a lot more sunlight, which may mean I need to move it away from the window a little bit as summer looms, you know, in the distance. And I also, I'm happy to have cleaned up and made room for new flowers on the buds and really to just have assessed some of the things that were concerning me. Like I said, I still have new growth coming in and new rhizomes forming. So it is time to pot this up because it will grow new rhizomes over the course of the spring and the summer. And I need to be better prepared than I am for that now. So the dotty is going to be in good shape when the, plant, the pots arrive for me to pot it up. So this is my Calathea care, my urgent care for my dotty done for the day. It's looking good. And I'm very pleased to have the plant. Just, it's a beautiful plant and it deserves to be taken care of. And so do the beautiful Syngonium that live next to it. This is my Maria Illusion that's dusty. That I can take in the sink. Berry Illusion Syngonium and my Pink Syngonium as well. So that is the whole crew here that hangs out by this Eastern window. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and my Dottie today. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. If you have any tips, please leave me a comment. And until next time, be well and take care.